diving more into Mark Herman's Empire of the Sun and uh, getting going with this second card of the opening uh, moves in this, the campaign. And it is, I guess we're pronouncing it, IAI Operation Number 1, the conquest of, and you do, do notice here, it says Southeast Asia. <laughs> and if you see my other video, I was going kind of going northwest, but, uh, and there is problems with that. I had all kinds of illusions of grandeur. But I did, in the middle of my moves, I remember seeing something about China. And I'm glad I did read this now. But unfortunately, I moved my units, but I'll move them back because it's just a learning game. But you can only attack them on the coast. And I was looking my chops at these guys here in the center, but I don't think I could do anything with them. So we are going to have to move all these units back. Now, another thing is... Uh, another criteria or something that's uh, available in this uh, operation event is that the uh, ooh, where is it here allied no allied air zone of influence well that has a big thing to do with this unit right here trying to bog my movements usually he did uh, project a zone of influence two hexes around him but uh, since this card negates that, we've been able to move back and forth and on through here and with impunity. Now, these boys here are all going to have to get moved back because we can't invade. Or we, we can. We could we could have made that move, but we're not going to do it right now with that. Well, let me see what he is. 3007. That's hard for me to see. Okay, back here in the Shanghai. And these units here are reduced because I guess they took part in the offensive earlier. Let me show you here. See, he's reduced along the Chinese Shanghai. Yeah, they were uh, not full strength because they've been torn up in an earlier battle. I thought there were more units in it. Oh, that's right. I put them over here. Now we are going to take uh, uh, Hong Kong. We're definitely taking Hong Kong. I got some units on there now the thing of it is we did have to use a amphibious assault so our ASP marker went down but that is it we we're uh, calling back our little attack on China because you can only attack them on the coast so we'll see what's up uh, strategic movement these units that are at a port can move double the uh, naval range is five Event card makes you times that for times three, so that'll be a 15 uh, range move. If you go from port to port, that's doubled, so that gives me 30 hexes out of this port into any other Japanese controlled port, so we'll be looking at that. But just a little drop in. My little beginning offensive against China has come to a halt because it's against the rules. We'll be back. All right, more notes to be made about the old. IAI operation card and it goes to the what the word is is illegalese it says here activate any units within range of any Japanese HQ well I've been on board game geek and there's a lot of discussion about this but it does confirm I've come down to it that all three get activated and it the way the guy explained it or these numbers here your bonus numbers add up to six and you get 26 activations so right now we have 20 units activated and we get six more so I'm going to figure out what I have to do here but here are my one two three four battle hexes and uh, also I made a mistake of having too many amphibious assaults you're only allowed one so you can see my ASP marker is started at the seven mark. It's only at six, or it's at six now, because we have an amphibious assault going from here to here. And there's all kinds of other criteria that's involved. But uh, yeah, we're having a great time. Units turned this way have moved, activated. I still got six units to activate. You're allowed 26. It's a massive uh, Japanese operation to begin the game. We'll be back. Alright, well that was legalese issue number one. The second one is this, and that has to do with uh, reactions. 
and uh, according to the video I seen on uh, YouTube, the old boy there is saying that uh, there is no U.S. or Allied reaction. The only time we can react is if the Japanese naval unit enters a Malaysian coastal hex and Force Z can be activated. He says that's the only way anybody can be activated. I say you're, I say he's wrong, and I'm going to look this up on Board Game Geek uh, because it does say. No allied ZOA during offense. Blah, 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 with a range. All right, we're placed in that hex during reaction movement. Okay, force Z is placed in that hex during reaction movement. So it says here that there is a reaction movement. So we're going to see. We're going to clear that up right now. All right, well, I think this here covers it. Intelligent surprise attack. And it just covers it right here. If the intelligence condition is surprise attack, there is no reaction move. Any offensive player immediately resolves all battles initiated by the offensive after the action player has had an opportunity to play reaction cards, which you want it to do. No reaction moves by the allied player. Way back. All right, one more note, but we call it a night. That has to do with the movement of these units here. If these units here were able to conduct a amphibious assault without moving the uh, marker so we're going to go ahead and uh, resolve battles in the morning I do have some questions about the, some of these areas where there's air Japanese air and naval units and the only units in the hex are allied ground units we'll find out how to do that tomorrow but that is an update we have 26 units activated one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. My twenty-six units activated, and my battle hexes are. Oops. In case old Mr. Herman's looking, can comment and tell me if I'm doing it right. Oh, we have battle hexes. I'm missing a, a pointer. There, 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 and last but not least, here. My old clippers. There you go. One, two, three, four, five battle hexes. We're back.